skeleton. Man.
this delicious Brain Lord music. I quite enjoyed Brain Lord. That was a fun time. I don't know if I... I don't know if I can play through it again anytime soon, though. It was pretty chunky. You could, If you're watching this VOD at this point in the intro, I popped off because there was a bot in the chat, and I got to shoot it. It was awesome. <laughs> Let me see here. Let me... Recent events. Fragile Frame, thank you for the follow. Pink Cigarette KVR. Biorto Raub with three Ws. Thank you for all for the follows. The Ultimo, thank you for the 250 hammers. E-Town Live, thank you for the follow. Thank you for reminding me to unmute the sounds. Hexdralian, thank you for the 28 holy years. Timestamp the pop-off on the VOD. There was no microphone at the time. Drix Karasu. Thank you for the six whole years of Prime Gaming. A frog race has just been redeemed. I think... I think I updated. I think I updated the frog race. Let me make sure. Scrolling up in the DM. Okay, we got like five new frogs in here. The chance of us landing on one of those is pretty slim. <laughs> I'm just gonna, we're just gonna run the frog race then. You're off your losing streak, let's go. I mean, we did have the, the, the ultimate fiasco last stream, where a frog race got paid out too early. It was the first rigged one ever, I was so mad. Chuggo, Minnesota Fats! Galcia and Frogodio. Very good. Alright. Pay uh, start prediction. There we go. Place your bets now. <laughs> Try betting right on 5,000 New Year. Well, I mean, I was furious. Here's a quarter. Fact. Ultimo. Get out of town. <laughs> Thank you for the quarter. I was pretty heated about it, I won't lie. Not because the frog race was rigged, but because the sacred sanctity of the frog race was tainted, besmirched forever. That's okay. At the end of the day, it's just fake channel points anyway. <laughs> yeah, the scripts are running. Frog one wins. Uh, all right. 32% of the bet is on Galcia. Best of luck, everyone. Oh, frog number four has got a huge lead. Everyone's playing catch up. Frogs number one and two are both there. Frog two's at the line. Minnesota Fats wins the frog race. It's a hard-fought battle. Minnesota Fats clutches it out yet again. Choose outcome. Uh, this one. Frog number two. 353,000 new yen given to 28 lucky winners for the first frog race of the day. Congratulations to the 28 of you. <laughs> Me mark that as complete. There we go. I think we're good. Hi, hello, everyone. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Hope everyone has a good week following this stream. This stream's probably going to be on the shorter side. Here's a I'm going to be real pass. with you. Get out of town. <laughs> Sanford and Sonius, thank you for the quarter. The stream's probably going to be real short, comparatively. I got some other pressing matters today, but I would still like to adhere to my own schedule whenever possible. So, I was looking around. I was looking through my big list of games.txt. Some stuff that I wanted to stream that I hadn't gotten around to yet. Obviously, I went straight to Korea, the greatest place... To stream video games from. It has been zero days since Dino Please has fucked around with Korean video games. We're back again. <laughs> 
We're playing Mong Chi the Hammer Boy. That's what we're playing. Mong Chi the Hammer Boy. PC 2004. This was the last game to be released by Digital Dream Studios. You got swerved? Good. <laughs> I hate when people try to predict what I'm doing. Never let them know your next move. We're playing Mong Chi. 2004 is pretty late, though, for, like, retail PC games in Korea. Not as popular by this point. Supposedly, this game was supposed to come out in 2002, and either it just got delayed, or they wanted to make the release of the game line up a bit better with the Hammer Boy movie. Slight relation, I suppose. I have not seen this film, but both of them are based on this manga... Which I also have not read. So you could say I'm not qualified from a knowledge perspective to stream this video game. Which I'm hoping will be offset somewhat by the fact that this game is for children. Infant baby children. <laughs> as far as I can tell. Yeah, Ho Young Man is a very good name. <laughs> Bridget Endeavor! Thank you for the 24 whole years. That is almost two whole years. I can't believe it. Yeah, I, am a, I, I have to admit I'm a fake Hammer Boy fan. Last I checked, I'm not a baby. I was a former baby. I feel that makes me at least somewhat qualified to play this game. I was a baby at one point, I'm sure. That's okay. Let's play some, uh, let's play some Mang Chi, the Hammer Boy. As far as I can tell... The movie, which I have not seen, is about some kind of a princess that escapes some kind of an evil kingdom that was being usurped or something. And then the hammer boy who lives on an island with a flying tricycle and a hammer on a string <laughs> tries to save her. And then they start shouting at each other. I skimmed it. I skimmed the movie. <laughs> anyway, let's just launch the damn game. How are we all doing today? Hope you're doing good. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we, I skimmed it. I didn't watch it, I skimmed it a little bit. Big drawer in? Glad to hear it. So as far as I'm aware, yeah, this is licensed. This is a licensed game based on the manga and not the movie, which in turn is based on the manga. <laughs> but it doesn't particularly resemble either of them. Your gear strike thing for the 23 whole years. Look at him go. <laughs> which in turn is based on a true story, yeah. Correct. This isn't Hammer and Harry. I'm sure that was intended as a dig, but you are correct. They're two different video games. I think so, Frankie Buster. I think this only came out on PC. There was supposed to be an Xbox version. Not sure why, but it got cancelled. Turn game down. Oh no, I started the illegal hype train, ha <laughs> Now thank you for the 100 bits. Let's play some Mang Chi the Hammer Boy. One word, all lowercase. What do we got in here? Option. Sound video. Just leave everything where it is. Yeah, it's all fine. Nice grass texture. This looks familiar. Yeah, we got a strip of grass because the cutscenes are a different size than the game window. <laughs> That's okay. Yes, sir. Korean gaming. Oh, 
<gasps> Pirates! Girl is rescue. Fire. The typhus. Eight hundred by six hundred and forty FMV cutscene for ballers only. <laughs> Thank you. Girl is not rescue. Bang Chi kind of cooked actually. Events are unfolding extraordinarily quickly. We've failed to rescue the girl. He has crash-landed, without dying somehow, in some kind of a sunken city. Yeah, no fall damage. Excellent. Very good. The world map! The sleeping city. I see, I see. How many Zidane or Riku jokes do I think I'm going to get today? I think we're going to have... Uh, today's drinking game is every time somebody does a Hammer and Harry joke. Take a shot. Alright, so as far as I'm aware, my controls are arrow keys for movement. Yes. We've got our arrow keys. Which means we have to move with our right hand, not our left hand. This is already going to be weird. Z on the keyboard is to jump. X is to hammer. As far as I know, that's all the moves. Move, jump, hammer. Simple enough. This game is for kids after all. Let's go. Yeah, we don't need much else. Yeah, this game is pretty, Gear Strike, I agree. Nice 2.5D platforming action. Uh-oh. Eh? Huh? So we're going to get smoked. At some point by this game's platforming. Sora Hammer Boy! Ah, Destiny Island, just the way I remember it. Very good. Yeah, thank you for the... 100? I gotta pull up Stream Elements, hold on. <laughs> stream Elements has disconnected me. <laughs> I think I timed it out. Sora Hammer Boy, thank you for the dollar you do. There we go, we're back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it should disconnect me. We're good. good. Must collect all the gemeralds. I assume... Collect 100 for an extra life. Shouldn't be too bad. Should be simple enough. Oh! <laughs> Good. What are the chances we die in one hit to this? No, I don't think the crates are breakable. I think the only thing we can really bonk with our hammer is, uh, enemies. We've not seen any yet. There's a one-way street.
Yeah, no, your character is not locked on an axe. You can just go wherever. Yeah, <laughs> to me, should wear crates, yeah. What are the chances we can clear this? Black Shield Legion. I'm a boy. I prefer club boy in the club. Hitting baddies with a club. <laughs> Thank you, Black Shield Legion. For the 100 bits. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. It's hard to gauge where in 3D space this lightning strip is. All right, we're good. Is now Disaster Report. I've already heard that this game has several games. It could just be Hammer Boy. And maybe you all need glasses. I'm not sure. There is such a thing as a game just allowing Welcome to, to exist. Yutani, thank you for the follow. Cows don't float in the water. Wow, I hope whoever slipped that through QA was fired. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Metal Gunslinger for the Game Boy Advance. Don't worry, we'll get to that one at some point. That game rules. Me no me. Ugh. What is this pipe pumping? I don't wish to know. I don't think. No, I don't think my pipes move like that. I could be mistaken. I've not looked at them in a while. <laughs> we only have one heart left. We've not gained any hearts. We're in huge trouble, boys. You jazzy Jeff. I mean, you constantly throw me out of the window, so yes, you really do not think. Very good. Thank you, Jazzy Jeff, for the dollar he'd do. Shadrock. I hope you can tell I was being sarcastic. <laughs> this is my sarcastic voice. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. They're all quite similar. <laughs> we gotta wait several cycles for this platform. Oh god, we're too early. We gotta let this line up a little better. It's the most precarious jump of all time. There we go. We got it. Yo, what's up, Haito? You're just in time for Mang Chi the Hammer Boy. I almost died. Almost died trying to jump. Channel prediction for the game crashing? It'll almost certainly crash. We're not playing this on a VM. I'm just playing this on my desktop through DXWND. This PC game from 2004, so it is almost certainly gonna crash at some point. Whoa! Don't get hammered, idiot. Oh, does he not die? We just stun him. Ah, I see, I see. This is a child's game, after all. Why would we kill anyone? That'd be rude. Why would we kill anyone? Oh, shit! Are right, we gotta go. Alright, there's significantly more danger than there was two seconds ago. Well, maybe we're not in that much danger. <laughs> yes. Plane? Those birds go by. Yeah, what a transition. We're just... We're just on a plane now. 
I don't know why I'm on a plane, let alone do I know why any of these other people are on top of this plane. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that makes sense. Did that do damage to the plane? Yeah. Cash Nine, Banuka. Five, yeah, I think I prefer the boulder chasing me over that truck loaded with soldiers. <laughs> Thank you, Cash Banuka. I think I have to break the plane. I think I did it. I think I did that correctly. Yeah, <laughs> we're committing war crimes. That's all right. You can have a little war crimes as a treat. Oh, we gotta hit them several times. You gotta make the propeller, gotta make the propellers fly off. Wait a minute, let's go back to that other one. I don't know if we're, like, supposed to do this or not, but... Just in case we have to. Palm tree top! Thank you for the six whole years. Uh-oh, I did not get to mash out my attack in time. There's a little bit of cooldown when you land from a jump, it seems. This is quite topical. Yo, thank you, Black Shield Legion, for the 100 bits. Is it quite topical? Has some big hammer news come out recently that I'm not aware of? Yeah, new hammer dropped? I haven't seen it. Oh, I cannot attack if I'm in the... Okay, so if I'm in their yellow circle, I cannot attack. That's what I've just learned. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it, like, munches your input. So you have to stay out of the circle. I hope this game isn't too long or else Dinos' hands will get thawed. I am playing this on keyboard, so... Hands are gonna be... A little sore, regardless. It's not too long, though. As far as I can tell, this game is pretty short. And, uh, in turn, this stream will probably be on the shorter side. I got some other pressing engagements today. <laughs> he's like, he's called Hammer Boy, but it's a mallet. That's <laughs> good. I really pedantic about hammers. I respect it. Yeah, how weird. I can't press the hammer button if I'm in the circle. Well, now that we know that. Yeah, I can't I can't press it while I'm there. It's crazy. Okay. Oh, did I do it? Did I break all the hammers? Or I broke all the planes with my hammer? We're going down, boys! Oh? The cutscenes look great. Big fan. <laughs> Dropping bombs, what is this? I when do I attack you? Do I just do I just hit you whenever or do I have to find is there a specific time I've got to hit you? Let me see. Maybe I got to hit the, uh... Use fans to jump. I'm not too sure. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, I got to hit the back of you. There it is. So it's just fucking survive until he turns around then. I can do that. Hammer is only usable on the ground. Yes, we do not have an air hammer. I think we're good. Yeah, we gotta aim for the butt. Well, we can only aim for the butt when he turns around, and he only turns around sometimes, it would seem. Aha! One more hit. This is a neat little boss fight. 
I'm curious what the exact age range for this game is, like the intended audience. Because this seems a little more complicated than I would expect from a kid's game. <laughs> It goes tall. Between the bopping of bad dudes, the vandalism, and the teeny tiny bit of war crimes committed, we'll turn Mang Chi from Hammer Boy to Hammer Man real quick. With proper <laughs> capitalization there we go, we got and spacing him. at that. Yeah, we got fucking shoved off the clip. Goes tall. Thank you for the 100 bits. It's all right. We can get extra lives back. That's a good sound. I like what I'm hearing here. How many of the gems did we get? Did we get all of them? We missed 15 gemeralds! Yeah, I'm liking this sound in my ear. It's very good. Rank F! Suffice to say, we're not, uh, outstanding at this children's game. No. Oh, I have to save my game. Yeah, follow the trail of the 40 thieves. None of the cutscenes in this game have any dialogue. None whatsoever. If you want to know the lore, you better know the source material, baby. And even then, it's probably only loosely based on that source material anyway. Most likely, this game consists of a lot of shit happening wordlessly. Factory plug. You got it. We're going to the plug factory where all the plugs are made. God help me, it looks like platforming. You know I can't do platforming! We are still not locked onto a 2D axis. We can still go up and down freely. That may get us killed. Try and center myself on all of the... <laughs> Try and center myself on all the objects. Whoa, how did it give me that? Okay. There will be a lot of bouncing. Manchi the Hammer Boy. Now, what would be a platforming game without platforms? Very good. Aren't these game designers wonderful, etc.? What is that? Ah! Toxic goop to avoid. The <laughs> Our Lives Counter! You don't like the look it's giving you. Oh, I kind of like the music I'm hearing. Mostly I just hear machinery noises, though. I guess Dracula's fallen on hard times, renting out his clock tower to the anti mang goon squad like this. Gotta have a good clock tower. No matter what the game is, you just gotta put one in for the culture. Thank you, Simon, for the 100 bits. Dan fan. This is a platform error. Sorry, I have to hammer in that fan. <laughs> Thank you, Dan fan. Somebody shoot that guy. <laughs> we gotta get a hundred gemeralds to get an extra life. I mean, if you can't 1cc Mangchi the Hammer Boy, what's the point? 
Although, we're almost certainly gonna die to, like, every boss fight, so that's probably not gonna happen anyway. <laughs> we're gonna get cooked by every boss just from lack of information, I'm sure. Uh-oh. Hey. Tilt platforms, yes. Help. And... Very dubious, mysterious platforming. There we go. We're living. Oh, look at this view! This is a Korean game. Bonked, idiot. Stupid dummy. Oh, I needed that to open the door! I thought that would just give me more gemeralds for, like, extra lives, but no, we needed that. This game have a controller option. Not that I saw, no. All I saw on the options menu was music volume and sound effect volume. And I guess, uh, window resolution. But we didn't touch any of that, because... The game will explode if I touch anything. <laughs> Does this look like Klonoa to you? What do your eyes say? I feel like I don't need to answer that. I feel like... I feel like your eyeballs can answer that question. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We got stuck on the platform. Crazy Edit Daddy, thank you for the prime gaming. There we go. Oh, that's really weird platforming. There's spikes there. Got it. Ape escapes, cousin, huh? What I think, chat room, is that some of you don't want to see new things. <laughs> that is my synopsis of what I've seen in the chat room today. I cannot go this way. Ah, I see. We needed the thing. The bouncer. Yo, Scavenger Jackal, thank you for the 34 all years. That was a load-bearing gemerald. We had to collect it. Almost have another extra life. The one CC continues until we are tragically killed by a boss gimmick that we are unaware of. And how does this work? I assume we just bonk the color and that color disappears? Wait. Oh. Ah, I see. What have I done? I've made the thing move. <laughs> oh, these are breakable, gotcha. Okay. 
That makes more sense. Aha! Okay. Help. Okay. I almost got crushed. Just gonna wait for that to fall in. Yeah, when in doubt, bonk. You can solve all of your problems by bonking them. This is well known. How do I... I cannot seem to hammer here. I cannot press my hammer button. I can hit that one. I cannot seem to hit the other one. Unless I gotta do it this way. Good. <laughs> what have I done? And how do we get in there? Well, I guess it's only electrified some of the time. You're probably expected to just jump in, jump out, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this game has, like, when you're standing in certain places, you just can't use your hammer if you're in, like, a designated no-bonk zone, or if you're in too close proximity to an enemy, it will not allow you to hammer. It is a mystery. My assumption is that these blocks, even though they're not displayed, they probably have, like, that same circle that the enemies had where you can't attack while you're too close to them. It's probably the same deal. I've done it. What have I done? Insert the yellow gemerald. Yo, ghost hall. If new thing reminds you of old thing, then that means new thing is alright because new thing be as good as old thing. True. But if new thing is complete new, oh God. then new thing might not be good because it doesn't play like old thing. You understand? <laughs> Thank Quotes you, ghost hall. Chris Who's never lied a day in his life. It's true. Truth be told, though, I don't give a shit if people, you know, see a thing and it reminds them of a different thing. Just don't be reductive about it. That's what annoys me. <laughs> Second game I've heard with the old AOLIM sound. Please don't take a shot if this was said already. <laughs> yeah, to be thank you for the 100 bits. Help, okay. Camera. No, this game clearly ripped off Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So true. <laughs> game exploded. <laughs> we got one! <laughs> Alright, boot that back up. We got one, boys! We got a crash! Let's fucking go! Put me back in. Load game. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised it held out that long, to be honest. I expected that to crash, like, ages ago. The good news is we know exactly how to do this stage. Up until that last bit. We'll see if it crashes in the same room twice, or if it was just, like, happenstance. Yeah, it saves the health and the lives and everything. Well, the game itself has infinite continues. So it's not really 
an issue if you don't <laughs> care about, like, 1C seeing it. Time to speed run this stage. We got all the tech. Whoa! Okay. 100% no hit speed run. We, uh. We would have failed that ages ago. Even right now, we only have two hearts. Which means, ostensibly, we got hit at some point. Not 100% sure when, but. Watch out for the poisonous gas. Yeah, <laughs> no hit speed run. I feel like in most cases that would go slower than an ordinary speed run because damage boosting is quite common. Space Hoppercopter. The first vinyl record I bought as a kid was You Can't Touch This by MC Hammer. This is my only hammer fact. Thank <laughs> you. I don't think I had that vinyl. But I definitely had that song some kind of way. I remember it playing a lot in the house. It was probably my fault. <laughs> No hit speed run, one of the REs at the last AGDQ. I didn't see much of the previous AGDQ. The only thing I saw of it was the dog, which, to be fair, was the most important part. There was a dog there, it was very good. Drum was pretty sick, that I didn't see. I just saw the dog playing Gyro Might. The greatest speed run I ever saw. The floor is lava! Maybe for the seven whole years. Do not enter the yellow zone of not being able to attack. We almost did an animation skip. Yeah, the piss zone. It's nice that they give me a convenient, like, location where the player is not able to perform an attack, but at the same time, why is it like that? Why am I not allowed to attack when I'm in that close proximity? I guess it doesn't matter because our hammer has such an enormous hitbox. That's the terror radius. I guess it's true. Like, do you see the shockwave on this? The hitbox is gigantic. Let's collect the green. I know you said you don't like reductive comparisons, but this character looks like a small version of Sora. 
Last week of a literal Lazarus necrosis. They were the ten whole years. No, I'm totally fine with that one. He does have some Sora hair, I agree. Question is, will the game explode in that same room a second time? Will the game explode in that same room? You're going to Card Fight Vanguard Regionals in London. I am a little... I'm too ignorant to know what that is, but I... If you're going to reg... Are you, like, playing in it? Because if you are, best of luck, dude. Hope it goes well. And if you're just spectating, I hope you have a wonderful time. Bouncer. You're competing? Oh, dude, let's fucking go. I wish you the absolute best of luck. It's a trading card game. That much I worked out in the title, but I, I, I have no idea what card fight is. I'm sorry. Minnesota Fats did win the frog race, yeah. So these cubes do have some kind of a you cannot attack while you are near them going on. Because I was mashing it the whole time and it only came out when it left. If this game were ported to Japanese, he could legitimately be called Hammer Taro. Hammer Taro, thank you for the 100 Hammer Taros. A yellow bad. What are the most absurd combat controls I've ever encountered? Uh, a lot of them, to be honest, have happened off-stream. I remember I almost did uh, Iron Soldier, and we'll still get to that. Like, the Atari Jaguar joint Iron Soldier. I found that completely impossible to control. I'm sure we'll still get to it. On-stream? Ooh. <laughs> Any of the ones where left and right stick are used together cow. for different turning. <laughs> like in a cyber sled type deal. Dan fan, thank you for the quarter. Bioforge, that's true. Bioforge might be the most unhinged. Obviously, we haven't played Die by the Sword yet, but I'm sure that'll also be one of those situations. You know what it is? It's this room is too big. This room is so unbelievably massive, the game just can't handle it. Crashes when you get here. No one's ever gotten past this point. No, you can't has. Thank you for the prime gaming. Bioforge was a fun time, though. I enjoyed it. Streets of Rage 1 mobile. Yeah! Having to press forward to attack felt really weird at first, but no, it works, dude. This is where it crashed last time. Right on these two uh, cranes, I think. So I believe... Oh! We made a little more progress. It still crashed, though. Looks like... This game don't want to work so good. <laughs> it looked like we made a little bit more progress than last time, and then it exploded again. Because it crashed in between the two cranes. And now Minnesota Fats can do 11 things better than anyone else on Earth. You True. can write them down. Can write them down. Hold on. Yeah, download more RAM. Okay, let me tweak some settings real quick. Let me turn on... I gotta turn. I think I gotta turn on the desktop optimizations because I turned them off before. Let me see here. Hold on. I'm dicking around in compatibility settings. 
PC gaming wiki. Possibly. Doubtful, but possibly. <laughs> Hover boy, macro boy, butcher boy. Nope. Hold on. I got it in compatibility mode right now. It's in compatibility mode for Windows XP. I'm not sure why that's on. I'm going to turn that off. We're going to see if that does anything. I've now turned off compatibility mode. For all I know, I've, I've enhanced the problems tenfold. For all I know, I've made things ten times worse. Let's find out. <laughs> Yeah, it's very late into the level. Which means it's kind of hard to troubleshoot it. That's fine. That's alright, we're not sweating too much. I've only got so much time today anyway. If we gotta call it and come back... ...some other time... ...that's what we'll do. I'm gonna, lit I'm gonna lower the resolution 640 by 480. I right, put back in. I'm ready. We've mastered this stage by now. The problem is, can this stage even be ran, or will it hopelessly explode every time? The good news is we can now speed run this stage. No damage. Black Shield Legion. My airbrush somehow got jammed, firing the lid off, spraying black paint up my wall. <laughs> what a disaster. A Vodigo. <laughs> a Vodigo, thank you for the 100 of Vodigos. Failing to load something? That could be. That's the kind of thing that you'll frequently run into if you try to play, like, this era of PC game on your PC without either using a virtual machine to do it or, you know, troubleshooting extensively in advance. Oh, well, these are not lined up. Help. Okay. <laughs> yeah, build your own period PC. Whoa. Whoa! Well, at least we landed on something. The music is very serene. We do have that going for us. Very pleasant, jaunty tune. Help! Top left of the gear sequence break! Do you think there's a speedrun community for this game? Like a... Like a top secret Korean speedrun community for Mangchi the Hammer Boy. <laughs> Yo, it's a Barfy? You might be right. I might be able to just jump onto this. Oh, they didn't let me. They didn't let me get away with it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm committed to. I'm committed to seeing if this works. Oh, ho, ho, that's pretty sick. I've done it. I've saved marginally more time. You know, excluding all the time that we spent fucking that up. <laughs> One speedrunner and it's an American. It's certainly not me. 
We can't even get through the game without it crashing, let alone speed running it. Yamanchi crash percent. It's a legendary bug baked into the game. They didn't want it to be completable. They made it unfinishable, so it just crashes right there every time. Obviously, that is not the case, but it's not unheard of for a game to do that. There are some games. This is definitely not one of them. But there are some games that are intentionally uncompletable. I think most famously is probably like RoboCop for the C64. That's a whole ass paragraph. Unrelated to hammers, but a modern day Mozart would be a musician of significant talent, dedication, and skill, who can write music across a bunch of different contemporary genres, who explicitly draws from the work of other musicians to build their style, and who is willing to do the musical equivalent of shit posting and wear fancy outfits while doing it. That means that the modern day Mozart is where Al Yankovic. Thank you, Trini Tronity, for the whole last paragraph. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, sorry, Pyrona, I got fucking sidetracked. One of the stages in C64 Robocop, you're, like, not given enough time to finish it, if memory serves. Because they had nothing past that. And so to disguise the fact that there was no game beyond that point, they just never gave the player enough time to finish that stage. I think that was at Robocop. It's definitely some C64 game that does that. It's very funny, though. Yeah, sadly, the crates are not smashable. We've tried to smash several crates in this, just can't. You do have a very large bonk hammer. But you can only bonk the designated enemies with it. You can't just bonk anything you want. Yo, Valsian. Why did the hammer boy raid the fridge? He had the munch keys. <laughs> TTS kinda... <laughs> TTS almost nailed that. <laughs> TTS gave you a hand there. They almost said that, right? Very nearly. Thank you for the 100 munch keys. Home Alone for the Amiga? That could be. I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of the Home Alone games are just... inscrutable. Not meant for, uh, human consumption. Lagon Von Bone! It's weird how many old games pulled that crud to hide that the game was unfinished. Yeah, it happened a lot back in the, uh, you know, that era of old computers. Many such cases. To be clear, this game is not one of those. This game is crashing for purely, you know, logistical reasons. Such as trying to run this 2004 PC game on a, you know, circa 2020 <laughs> modern day computer. No, this is not in the VM. We could put it in a VM, though. I could certainly shove this into a VM and see what happens. Well, let's see if it crashes on that stage again now that I've taken it off of compatibility mode. We're doing a little bit of troubleshooting live. That's all right. Yo, what's up, Griffy Bones? I mean, I do have some VMs I can shove this in. We could see if it works. The Mangchi, the Hammer Boy troubleshooting saga.
Oh, take a shot, chat room. We got a hammer in Harry. <laughs> okay, so that gives you 10 emeralds. Yes. Very good. Although, we haven't streamed any of those either. We should get around to those. Should play some Hammering Herald at some point. The PSP one in particular interests me. Still need to dig into VMs. It is... It is a whole mess, to be clear. Like, VMs are great because they'll let you run a bunch of shit that you otherwise would not be able to. But at the same time, there's no, like, universal solution for every game. You kind of have to fiddle around with each one <laughs> individually. What happens if we just skip ahead a bit? What if we try to speed run this room? What happens then? Oh, I'm supposed to be going this way. What kind of a weird... Japanese version called him someone differently who? Hammer and Harry? I think his name's Daigo? Or like Gen? It's one of those. It was either Daigo or Gen. Which are both Street Fighter characters. <laughs> this is where it crashed last time. Let's see if it does it again. No, it didn't. Interesting. But it'll probably crash at some point. If it's, like, timer-based, that means it's probably about to crash. Because, like, maybe the game just can't handle being in this room for too long. We'll see. I don't expect to make it out of this room alive. Daiku no Gensan. That's probably what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah. What is this jump? Okay. <laughs> that jump was suspect. Yo, what's up, Sinatukai? Oh, I see. Not allowed to make any contact with that. Do I gotta jump diagonally here, then? Yo, we got fucking dunked. Wait a minute. Did that put us forward a bit? There weren't any enemies here a second ago. Was that a death boost? Was that a death warp? <laughs> no, I don't think it was. This looks like, yeah, we're back where we were. Okay. Back at the crusher situation. How do you do this jump, though? Do you have to, like, wait for it to go up and then you can jump? <laughs> no, not quite. That's not quite how that works. Did we solve the crash? Not really. I mean, we got past the point where it crashed. 
But there's no guarantee that we're gonna get through the room without it crashing, right? Like, I, I still I, I expect for this to crash at some point. What we did is we kind of went down this way instead to skip a bit. Can we hammer the claw? Can I? Doesn't seem like it. This is about where it crashed earlier as well. Very odd. Sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. The only thing we've done differently is take a different route. That's all we've done. It seems to get us a little farther before anything bad happens. It's funny, too, because that doesn't seem like the intended path. It seems like we intentionally skip a bit. We walk past the crane and then jump? Could be. I mean, yeah, we did take it out of compatibility mode as well. No guarantee that that fixed anything, but you never know. There's some pretty precise platforming, though. We're asking a lot of these children. <laughs> uh. Only did one damage. We're living. Let me just confirm that I cannot hammer this thing. It seems like it. Can I, like, stand here? Oh, it is just in the way. It is perspective. Yeah, yeah. I thought for a second you said Death Dwarf after the hundreds of time that guy gets thrown on the ground in the next generation. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't had a fatal concussion. Same. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the dollar he do. What is game? It's written at the top of the screen where it says now playing. It is a skill issue, yeah. If my brain cannot comprehend the third dimension well enough to parse that that crane, to parse that I had room beyond that crane, yeah, it's a skill issue. I can admit that. What is game? Oh, this is a platforming game. Where we occasionally bonk stuff with a hammer. Boss fight? Oh? What is going on here? Help, okay. What am I hammering? It's time to hammer some shit. Ooh. Looks like I can hammer these or pull them out. Oh, I can just yank them out. Ooh. Oh, I like the boss music. You yank this fucking cord out! Yes! That just leaves you. I'm having difficulty pulling the cord out! Okay. Let me just bait him to come all the way over here. Let me just bait him to turn. Cool. Try this again. I cannot seem to activate the pulling animation. 
So we might have to get... We might have to, like, be in a really precise position for this. Because we do it with the, with the hammer button, yeah? Easy enough to avoid. Yeah, we did do it early. Oh, shit, I'm dead. Oh, did you hear that vocal sample? That was sick! I don't think we can do much else here. Let's see if there's anything else we're meant to do. Let's just start hammering everywhere. <laughs> is, is it stuck in a half-pulled state? That'd be pretty funny. If that's the case, we can probably just run out of lives and then hit the continue button. And that should drop us back in the boss fight. Here, let's try that. We should be able to just restart the boss fight by dying and continuing. On the off chance that that is what's going on. Might take a while to die. Yeah, if he can even hit us, his aim ain't too good. So maybe we're not supposed to get hit out of this. Is that what is that, is that the theory? <laughs> it's gonna be really funny if that's the case. Let's try this again. So let's only try to pull these when we have clearance then. I'm gonna wait for that lightning barrier to go away. Okay. Wait for you to come up here. Yes. How about now? It lets me do like a weird double hammer here. But it doesn't seem to let me actually pull it. It just let it just lets me bonk the thing. The other ones I don't think have that. Or do they? Well, maybe we got to do this first actually. That one just came out on its own, without me doing much of anything. Okay. My imagination continues to run wild. Ah, there it is. What did we do different? <laughs> it's unclear. Specific order, maybe. Phase two? Oh, they're all back in. But now we can't jump over these as easily. Uh-oh. Oh no, there's lightning everywhere! What's happening? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, this boss fight's sick. <laughs> that was pretty rude. Okay. Alright, we did not survive to do that. But at least we know what's going on. Yeah, it seems like we just have to be in a really, like, precise place to do the bottom one. Seems like if we're standing in even slightly the wrong spot, we don't get the animation. That's okay. Now we know. There it is. Yeah, it, like, always does the hammer animation first. And then it grabs it? <laughs> yeah, he like grabs it after hammering. Because it's all with one button. You do all this with the hammer button. I think that one spot is like bugged. At least it still works. We're getting smoked in a children's game, by the way. I know when I was a kid, I wasn't as cracked at video games as this game seems to demand of me.
You play a childhood game the other night, you got cooked. I feel like that's... I feel like everyone's got a game like that, where it's like, how was I good at this when I was younger? <laughs> Ooh. Oh god. Help. Okay. Not alive. Which one do I not? This one. I may not survive the attempt. Pull it again. There we go. So we're gonna get an F rank for sure. But... The game, the game let us clear the stage that time. That's good. We got a rank F. We've yet to not F rank a stage. It's very slow going. But as long as the game is working, I don't mind. <laughs> the, <laughs> the very sudden cut away <laughs> from the cutscene. Slot two. Where to next? Excellent. Into the airship! Yahoo! They're holding lollipops. Oh, yeah. vibing with this music so far. Regardless of how smoked we got, at least we got to finish the stage that time. Was that a sunken New York? I think so. Uh-oh. Immediate yellow circle that we cannot launch attacks from. Wait, how do I... Uh-oh. I think I'm supposed to... Am I supposed to knock down the tower thing? Or maybe I gotta break the propeller, even. It didn't seem like we could go any farther that way. Maybe the rope, yeah. There do be a slidey rope, yeah. <laughs> Use the guy as scaffolding. I've not heard a better plan so far. How do we jump over there in such a way that we can still attack? There we go. Okay, that was cool. These goofy launch pads. <laughs> oh no! What will you do when you run out of barrels, friend? This was your only plan! Alright, we got him. Yo, what's up, Sayara? Playing Manji the Hammer Boy today. Am I to believe that these are obstacles? Am I to believe that I'm in danger of being nudged slightly by these? <laughs> That's the much more dangerous obstacle, the little pushy hand? Now that's a nefarious device. <laughs> Get fucking sumo slapped off the stage, idiot. Oh yeah, we do have uh we do have the sumo fighter emote now as well, yeah yeah. <laughs> Apropos of nothing, we do have sumo fighter emotes.
Lots of very sudden stage transitions on this one. Hard to tell if I'm, like, looping the terrain or if I'm making progress. I have to assume that the direction I'm going is forward. Because there's, like, new gem emeralds to collect. But they kind of have me zigzagging back and forth on this ship makes it difficult to tell. What the fuck? I got hit after I hammered him. Using very hard lollipops, yeah. He's dead. The hammer boy is dead. Are we in the engine room? That doesn't seem safe. This doesn't seem like a safe place for workers to be. Yeah, we're fighting the candy pirates in this Korean video game. We'll watch out for the steam, I think. Watch out for this! Ugh. Nice churning noises. At least every time we bonk a guy, he drops five gems for us. We only need a hundred for an extra life. There we go. This would be a fun game to run back trying to get a 1cc in. You know, like, after we have learned the stages, we're going in mostly blind this time, but <laughs> it would be fun to go back to. What is your gimmick, sir? He has a gun! Red? Can I hit this? Okay. Oh, do I have to, like, hit the... Uh, wait a minute. Red, blue. What does that mean? Do I hit the bombs? Oh, I see. I get it. The streamer understands what's happening. Streamer has comprehended the gimmick of the boss fight. The gun is very hard to avoid. Help. That one should do double damage. Oh, it's got a splash radius. Oh no, wait, that did damage while I was like in post-hit invincibility. That means there is no post-hit invincibility. Even though it looks like there is. Cool. Cool, cool. Maybe we can get an extra life back. Most of the way. Excuse me? <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> oh no, I slammed into the rocks. It seems like I can freely back up and reverse this airship whenever I want. We gotta get an extra life. Hold on. Collect a few of these. We need more lives. Yes, good. Excellent. The ship is a big hammer. If this belonged to Mangchi, the hammer boy, this would probably be a big hammer-shaped ship, yeah. Stage clear. That was very sudden. Did I still get an F rank? 
Somehow I got an A rank. Am I taking crazy pills, or did we get just as cooked as any other stage, but that time they were like, yeah, you did good. Alright. Into the airship. When you continue, you lose all your points. I guess it's true, yeah. Jamirius Village. Osha. Marry me with my money. Hello, Osha representative here. Mm. We just received a phone call about some violations and... No. No, I quit. Mm -hmm. I can't do this. My heart can't take it. You're on your own. Oh, thank you for the 350. Oh god, immediate water traps. Thank you for the 350, Osha. Don't worry, I've never... There are no workplace violations on this show. Never have I ever. Oh, this music is extremely pleasant. If this ain't the login music of every Korean MMO... If this ain't the Flife login music, I don't know what is. He's got a gun! I drowned, boys. We did not get our jump out in time. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Keyboard platforming is not my strong suit, let me tell you. We can't- this isn't even WASD, by the way. This is like the arrow keys, so we gotta move with our right hand and then take action with our left hand. It's completely backwards, at least for me today. How do I not get shot? Oh god, I got eaten by a fish. Alright, we're learning. <laughs> no, there's no controller option for this. I mean, I could joy to key it, I suppose. But that doesn't feel like my that doesn't feel like my authentic Mangchi the Hammer Boy experience. <laughs> How do I avoid the gun? I think you just die. <laughs> we have to bait. We gotta learn how to bait the gunshot. That is a very tall order, but it must be done. Must learn how to bait the gun. Okay. Maybe if I approach him when he's uh, walking up the other way, right? He's going the other way. Ah, I see. We gotta stealth that shit. Oh, I was supposed to go faster than that. I see why we're given so many gems here. This music is extremely pleasant. I'm having a wonderful time. Not the laundry! Oh no, we're ruining people's laundry! Mangchi the Hammer Boy is a menace! Curvature of these rooftops. We cannot quite run along them. We must jump. 
The whole town's gonna explode, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not allowed to touch the street. That whole segment, no street. Oh, help me. Okay. Good. Excellent. <laughs> Goofy ass paddling. This game is very charming, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> No, don't worry about it too hard. Don't worry about it, Hackstrail. It's not important. Eh? Eh? Uh -huh. Oh no, they're hard to avoid. Okay. The frog race just got redeemed. Let's try and finish the stage first if we can. Because I think even if I'm like, even if I'm tabbed out, the game is still <laughs> uses my inputs. So if I like press enter on my keyboard, it'll still, uh, even if I'm tabbed out, it'll like press a button. So there's a strong chance we're just going to accidentally close the game. <laughs> so let's actually, let's save first if possible. And then we'll do, we'll do both because the stampede poem just got redeemed as well. Do I die if I touch the street? I must know. For science, we must find out. You cannot touch the ground, chat room. The floor is lava. Just in case you were wondering. That one was a, that was a scientific experiment, because I had to know. <laughs> Uranium concrete! <laughs> Oh, no, the long, the, the 1cc was long dead, don't worry about it. We lost the 1cc, I think, literally on the first stage. While we still had no idea what we were doing. Marionette. Yo, Mangchi the Hammer Boy! Oh no, I touched the ground. Now <laughs> I must commit pseudo <laughs> Yeah. He just evaporated when he hit the ground, he just liquefied for some reason. Don't worry about it, it's not important. Oh. Ah. He's got a gun! It's fine. Shit. I'm finding it extremely difficult to avoid gunfire. What is this? Whoop! How do I... How do I... How do I... How do- Ah! It's okay, we figured it out. Dude, Metal Gear, what? Oh, we're at the boss. The stage is actually quite short. Rotating books. Don't get booked. Not sure I understand. Should I be trying to hit stuff? Oh, there's a switch here. 
What have I done? I'm not super sure what I've done. I hit him. But at what cost? Yeah, we made the moose heads rotate. That I picked up on, but what does that do for us exactly? I think when we hammer him, we need the, uh... We need the moose to be rotating, because I think we, like, hit him into that. Yo, unusual cook, thank you for the raid! Yeah, okay, that seems to be the ticket. Thank you for the raid, where are we all up to? We're playing Mangchi the Hammer Boy. Korean PC game from 2004. No language barrier to speak of, because this game has pretty much no text or dialogue. Marry me with my money. Our town has been dealing with a lot of pests these past months. So I sprayed the floor with death spray. <laughs> Good news, the pests are dead. Bad news, I'm running out of food and I can't go to the supermarket. Oh no, it's rough out here for our mayor. <laughs> Thank you for the dollary too. Beat Oblivion for the first time, nice. Did you reach the same conclusion that many people have reached with Oblivion? Where it's like... You just kind of veer off, you veer wildly off course, do all the side stuff, and then at the very end you're like, alright, let's beat the main quest, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Not too bad. He, he's gone. We popped him like a balloon. C rank. We've gotten two Fs, a C, and an A. <gasps> the portal! Don't jump in, Mangchi. It's not worth it. Okay, well... save game. Okay. Now that we've done that, we can do this frog race and we can do the poem as well. Let's do both of those. To the frog track! Create prediction. Choose your frog now! The math better not lie this time, you never know. Only one frog gets to win the frog race. Despite the fact that the numbers don't lie, the odds are stacked against Scott Steiner. And this is before we've thrown Kurt Angle into the mix. If we do that, his chances will drastic go down. <laughs> it's the greatest promo of all time. No, I don't think we have a frog named Kurt Angle. That would be extremely funny if we had... <laughs> if we had Scott Steiner, Samoa Joe, and Kurt Angle, that would be so fucking funny. If we rolled all three of them at the same time. <laughs> Scott Steiner favored to win at 28%. Best of luck, everyone. Oh, frog number one. Frog number four has got the lead. Everyone playing catch up. Can anyone stop him? Dog the frog wins the frog race. A decisive victory. Unfortunately for Scott Steiner, the numbers were not in his favor. I don't think that went quite the way he foreseen it. Oh. 
paid out to Dog the Frog. 433,000 new yen given to 31 lucky winners. Congratulations to all 31 of you. My condolences to everybody else. You'll get them next time, champ. I believe in you. Yeah, who let this dog in the frog race? Press the stampede button as well. Hey, stampede. How about a poem? Looking out the window of your room onto a wet, rainy day. Main Street under a slate gray afternoon sky. The light on your face is soft and dim under the lace curtain and the streets are empty. In the distance, there is a flash and a rumble. Clouds fill the sky like giant wooden ships on a blackened evergreen sea capped with foam. Mm. It's like I'm really there. He paints a beautiful picture. Thank you, Stampede. Somehow my game did not explode during that. Munk's Castle! I believe this is the final stage. I believe. Ghost Hall. Well, looks like the numbers did lie, but they spelled disaster for you jokers. <laughs> I bet it on frog number one. Lol. <laughs> Thank you, Ghost Hall. If I'm not mistaken, this is the last stage. Oh no, do I have to hit you twice? I have to hit you more than once. Got it. Thank you for the 250 bits. Yeah, this is a pretty game, I agree. No, I think it's five stages total. They don't seem to be that long, either. After we roll credits, I think we can do, like, a, like a 1cc attempt, maybe. After we've learned the game a little bit. I don't think it's going to go particularly well, but we could probably run it again, now that we kind of know how this goes. This is, this is a definite weakness of mine, is uh, 3D platforming, like, into or away from the camera. Can I push this? I cannot push this. Yeah, gotta hit those twice. Did I get squished by the platform? Noted. Understood. Is there a place to look at all the frog names so you can pick a unique one? That... I think if anyone's got a database of the names, it'd be Raycat. I certainly don't. But we should have one, I agree. That is a good idea. Maybe we should, uh... Maybe we should get one of those! <laughs> If you redeem one and it's already taken, though, we can definitely just refund that. But I don't think that's happened yet. I don't think that's come up. <laughs> the frog sheet. The sky walkway and loop on the third on the Saturn. Dude. I was so enamored with that loop on the third game. It exceeded every expectation. And I mean, I didn't know what to expect anyway. I'm not that familiar with anything having to do with loop on the third. It was so sick, though. Red button? Button is push? Button must be stand on. You're telling me we're playing Mangchi the Hammer Boy, and I gotta step on the button. I can't hammer the button. Okay. I understand. Oh? Ah. What have we here? Oh no! Oh! 
Maybe it's friendly. Oh, big. Maybe it's friendly. We don't know. We can't rule out diplomacy. Oh, big. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Fazbear, yeah. These jumps are kind of brutal. I gotta, like, look at my shadow on the floor to see exactly where to jump. Oh, no, he's back. Okay. Yeah, my depth perception. Are we running again? Where are we going? Still running? No, we're not running. Let's go. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Understood. Drop silly pillars on him. Simple enough. <laughs> Not the barrels of doom! <laughs> I just love the idea. It's like a captain standing behind them. Ready the barrels! It's the only way to stop Mungji the Hammer Boy! Oh? Excuse me? Surfing stage all of a sudden? I do not, I am not able to jump at the moment. I have no jump button. Does that mean I have to go the ways that there aren't gaps? Oh, there it is. Oh, if I'm holding any direction, I cannot jump. That's what it is. I have to make sure that I'm in neutral to jump. I cannot like hold forward jump. I figured it out, it's okay. Yeah, neutral only jump. What if we made that, though? That would have been sick. Gotta go like this. Gotta slam the brakes. Do like a weird zigzag. That didn't go too bad. Oh no. Is this good? Is this bad? Oh, are you taking chunks out of my platform? <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Some goofy ass music. Uh oh. Where do I stand? Here. Cool, we made it. Oh! Sounded like the game was about to explode there. Dodged a fucking bullet, boys. Uh-oh. I was not aligned with the platform. There it is. That's on me. Was not aligned properly. Whoa! Okay. Some of these fall. Noted. Yeah, this level does feel very large. Well, it is the final stage, I'm pretty sure. That makes sense. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. I gotta step on that. Curiously, the game has auto-fire for hammering. 
but not for jumping. If I hold down the hammer button, he keeps hammering. But if I hold the jump button down, I just get the one jump. Sega Zoom! Thank you for the 55 whole years! Excuse me? Climbing another one. Yeah, that was a very sudden, like, transition. Okay. Yeah, it's either that or, like, we died and it put us back a ways. It's unclear. How's hammer boying? It's going pretty good. There was a there was a tech support scare earlier where the game was threatening to not work. But we've overcome it, it would seem. And the game is now functioning. Looks early MMO-esque Korean. It is, in fact, a Korean game from around that time. That is well spotted. Yeah, this is the same tower. I mean, if you were making a bunch of towers in your, like, ancient temple, you'd probably just use the one blueprint for all of them, right? It makes sense. I probably wouldn't build all my towers with distinct platforming scenarios. I'd probably just copy-paste them. Were I building some ancient ruins? I <laughs> don't want my towers to confuse me every time I climb a new one. I agree. Now, if I were if I were crafting some kind of labyrinth, right, with puzzles and such for travelers to get hopelessly lost in, I would probably not use the same puzzle every time. <laughs> But I've used a map maker before. Oh, that's a... I have to do, like, an up and right jump. I can't do a straight right jump there. Alright, so the continue screen just then was in pitch blackness. I had to assume I was on continue, yes, no, there. <laughs> it displayed nothing. So we have to do a diagonal jump there. It doesn't line up quite right. Now we know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're making ruins, they're already ruins. You're not going to build them to be good. You're going to build them to be ruins. At least I'm pretty sure that's how, how the Mayans and the Incans did it, right? <laughs> Uh-oh. The platform is much smaller than it appears! <laughs> we slid off well before we had reached the edge. That means we gotta stay pretty much on the center wooden part. Lest we slide to our doom. Cool. Whoa! Yeah, okay. I'm glad they gave me that. Video games! With my money. This is kind of awkward, but... Well... Um... I like you too. Oh, I love you too, video games. But I do think we should see other people. Thank you for the dollary do!
Right, what do we do here? Okay, laser barrier. Help! Okay, so there is a sound cue for the bombs he's throwing. Look at this fucking guy. He's so big. What are we what are we doing here? There's a heart up there. Oh, do I gotta knock this down? Oh, okay. What did that do? Do I go over to him now? Have I done something? Alright, he has tremendously good aim. <laughs> I got you for three minutes! Okay, so I gotta... I gotta hit all of those, presumably. Gotta go over here now? Ah, okay. <laughs> Whoever's playing the stainless steel pan. <gasps> he has a butt slam! Okay, he puts the hearts back. Okay, simple enough. Help. I can't tell where they're gonna land. There's no shadows! Okay. Balloon. There were no shadows on the ground to tell where those were gonna end up. Oh, those are hard to dodge. Those are extremely hard to dodge. Oh. The active frames on his butt slam? Did we did you, did you witness those active frames? Okay. Yeah, the potatoes of doom. Got it. Go back in. And we have to dodge another butt slam. Oh, I was too close. We have to be far enough away that we can actually hit him. If you're too close, you don't get to hammer. What do we got now? More bombs. I can't tell where in 3D space these are gonna land. Okay. Balloon. Falling objects in 3D space with no shadows to indicate where they're gonna go. Good luck. We go. All right, last one. It's a pretty simple fight. I mean, it's more complex than any of the other boss fights, but it is still a kids' game. It ain't that complicated.
He's dead. He's ceased breathing. I think that's the final boss. I think we beat the game. I'm not 100% sure. Rank F. Truly, that is what we deserve. That's okay. Yeah, there is not one line of spoken dialogue in the whole game. Thank you. We are going to run it again, though. We're going to try to do it a little better now that we know how the game goes. I have your pendant, miss. What does that do? win for short kings. Hammer Boy is a child. The princess is presumably a grown-ass woman that we were just trying to help out. Then again, that didn't bode well. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's definitely a grown-ass woman. <laughs> How tall is the hammer boy? Not the kiss. You can't kiss the child. Not like this. And then they flee the scene on their airship. Oh no, we're leaving. Got it. Love a good airship. For as prevalent as airships are in fiction, we sure don't seem to have any real ones yet. Planes aren't as cool. <laughs> Who made it? Who made the game? Yeah, tell me more. JG Lee, Casey Kim, yep. We've got no credits music, it would seem. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is definitely how all the credits should be displayed. Just say, who made it? It's a big mystery. Yeah, we'll never know who made it. I mean, it's listed right here, so I guess we do know. So we're going to run that again. We're going to run that again, and we're going to see if we can stretch our first credit out a bit farther. Now that we know... Oh. Now that we know how the game goes, all the tricks, all the secrets and tips and tricks. Uh yeah, let's try and let's try and get a proper run going. As opposed to the credit feed that it just was. Run it back. Yeah, who is responsible for this? Back to the sleeping city. All right. Let's try and do a bit better this time. We gotta stockpile extra lives. That's what we gotta do. I think my favorite thing about this game is that as soon as you get in, there's immediately, like, broken street platforming you gotta do. There's just holes in the road. It's hammer time. The Brodo Common. Thank you for the 100 hammers. It is hammer time. Although, this game certainly has more jumping than hammering. But I guess Mangchi the Jump Boy didn't sound quite as good. And the game is definitely short. I mean, it's it's gotta be pretty short. It took us two hours to clear it, and that's with all the restarting and the technical issues. It took two hours. So we're probably going to get this done. We're probably going to bang this out in, like, one hour, probably. Now that we are wisened up to this game's antics. <laughs> I'm enjoying it a lot, though. We need to collect all of these. We need to stockpile all the lives we're, uh, we can. 
We're gonna need them, certainly. Yeah, post-climate disaster, New York. Something has clearly happened here. The entire city is fucking sank. We don't quite know why. Oh, these are tricky. We gotta get, like, uncomfortably close to these to clear them. There we go. No, give me that. Thank you. <laughs> Kyogre has been here, yeah. As long as we can gain lives at roughly the same speed we lose them, I think we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, there's one. We're up to three. Are there any health power-ups? Not that I've seen. I've not seen a single health up in this game. I don't think they're in this game. We must simply live with our errors. That's okay. This <laughs> is New Jersey. I've never been there, but I'll assume- I got a friend? I got a friend who's from Jersey. I'm gonna ask them if this is how it looks. It's probably spot on. Oh, I could make that. Did not realize. It probably just loops back around, though. <laughs> These were a nightmare to cycle up last time. Uh-oh. We almost slid off the damn thing. Cool. Ooh. Okay, those synced up a lot better that time than the previous time. Not too bad at all. Woo! How'd you miss this game? This game only came out in Korea and only for PC. There was an Xbox version planned. Never happened. There is no English version of this game, although all the text in this game is in English and there's like no dialogue or lore or anything. There's there's not much text in this game, so there's there's no language barrier to speak of. I had forgotten about the plane bit where you're just on a fucking plane. So we gotta break every propeller. Before you ask, the flooding wasn't our fault. There just happened to be some guy who felt it was a good day to flush his sofa down the toilet. <laughs> and no, we don't know how he did it. We don't know how he did it. He could still be out there somewhere. Thank you, New York, for the dollar he do. Very cash banuka. I'm a big fan of uh, Brash Mandicoot. It's probably my favorite misnomer. Now we're up to another extra life. I've already forgotten the boss strat, so this is gonna be... This is gonna get ugly. <laughs> Brand Handycam? I know him. Of all the games I've heard this likened to today, though, Crash Bandicoot does not come to mind. Certain bits of it certainly do, with the camera perspective. But the way the game plays is, uh, not remotely similar. It looks like when you are near an enemy, it doesn't really matter what direction they're facing. 
they will spot you and they will turn to face you. That is good information to have. But this is the last one. The circle is not their aggro radius. The circle is like, if you're in this circle, you are too close. You cannot attack him. They can see you from wherever the fuck. Okay, so all I gotta do here... ...is hit him when he turns around. Try to avoid the, uh, barrels and shit in the meantime. There we go. That's all I gotta do. Let's do that a few more times. Seems simple enough. Watch out for the missiles he's got. Okay. So he only turns when he... Okay, I see. Trying to learn the pattern. One more hit ought to do it. Ooh. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> My one weakness, which I have conveniently exposed, happens to the best of us. Okay, so now he'll turn. When his right foot crushes a barrel, that's when he turns. That's the information I needed. 69 gems left over. Dude, nice. S rank! Oh, dude! <laughs> and then he died. Rip. All right, back to the factory. We're gonna just try and stockpile lives as well as we can. That way we're allowed to make as many mistakes as possible later on once everyone has guns and shit that we struggle to avoid. What are the chances the game crashes here again? Pretty high, I would say. I'm not too attached to this run until we're out of this stage. <laughs> Once we're out of this stage, we're home free, I think. We had no errors past it. Uh-oh. It was not flat enough. This game gets a lot out of its simple controls, I would say. Even though all we have is a jump button and a hammer button, the shit that we're doing tends to vary pretty well in between the stages. There's always kind of new nonsense going on. Is the hammer boy just a kid? The hammer? Oh, I don't think the hammer itself is special, no. I think Mangchi the Hammer Boy is just a boy with a big hammer. As far as I'm aware, though, in the movie, because there was a movie, not based on this game, but based on the manga that this game is loosely based on, as far as I'm aware, they... Uh, the Hammer Boy gets, like, magical shouting powers at some point during the film. He just gets... He gets, like... <laughs> it gets, like, magical shouting powers. Imagine a Dragon Ball Z, like, beam 
battle where there's like two energy beams clashing with each other, but it's like them shouting instead. And that's like the back half of that movie. <laughs> Yo, Sneaker Nets, thank you for the 29 all years. Yeah, he had like a helmet, you know the one. The very same. Obviously, this game does not, uh. uh, take its own license to that extreme. Or maybe they couldn't, for some reason. No idea. He's aged 20 years, yeah. I know precisely one fun fact about that movie, and I'm pretty sure the titular Hammer Boy is voiced by uh, Ash Ketchum. I think, I think that's the only thing I know about that film. Other than the aforementioned screaming battles. <laughs> oh, we gotta get the thing anyway. We can't, yeah, we gotta get this first. Whoa. That is a very sketchy jump, but it kind of works. These jumps are extremely sketchy. You gotta tilt this just right, but if you tilt it too much, you just fall down. It's asking for, like, a very precise amount of tilt. Eh. There we go. Okay. And we got an extra life. Sick. Angrily hammering the earth. If we just stockpile a million billion lives, we can 1cc it easily. Up until the bits towards the end where I find enemy fire and enemy patterns impossible to avoid. The platforming, very doable at pretty much all times. You'd have played this as a kid, yeah. <laughs> what, you don't like the way that the hammer boy's looking at you down in the corner? He means no harm, probably. Uh, he does kind of have a dead look in his eyes. I won't... I don't, I don't disagree. Well, okay, fair enough. Da -da. Let's not take any unnecessary risks here. The penalty is death. Let's just let's just get out of this screen. I know, there's lots of gems. We're gonna have to let those ones go. <laughs> it looks like he's holding back tears. <laughs> Yeah, you have a great degree of air control in this game. You kind of need that because some of the jumps are incredibly sketch. For the most part, not too bad. There is like a jittery camera when you jump. Like, it's not the smoothest scroll, the camera kind of jerks upwards a bit. 
So I get what you mean, fish roll, yeah. Why is he in a box factory? We'll never know. There is no story given. Except girl in trouble, go save her? In game, that's all the lore we're given. Girl in trouble, go save her. Almost died there. Whoop. You thought this was a side scrolling screen, like I couldn't look directly at you. <laughs> So it's once we get back inside, that was the screen that crashed a lot. We'll try and do what we did last time. We'll try and skip a chunk of it just to see if it makes it more cooperative. But I'm still not a hundred, uh, not a hundred percent convinced it'll work properly. We may still have some problems. I think this was the room. Yeah, this was the one that crashed on us a few times. <clears throat> it's just, it's too big a room. I think that's what it is. <laughs> Something about it. Computers can't handle it. Yeah, too strong for its own good. The first time it crashed, it was right about here in between these two claws. The second time it crashed, it was right down here on some conveyors. It was right about here. And then barring that, I don't think it fucked up anymore. Whoa! What is the function of this room, would you say? It's clear that we're stirring up a giant, like, vat of green goo down there. We're just, like, stirring it up. Yeah, it's the goo room. What, what's the goo? What's the goo do? Oh, that hit me. My, what large hitboxes you have. It's all Mountain Dew. Yeah, I believe you. That sounds accurate. I was I was mostly talking about the goo, but the platforming is also equally like what what's going on here? I wouldn't want to have to work in this room, is what I'm saying, right? If I'm on the goon squad, if I'm one of the goons for for the bad guys. I would not want this to be the room that I have been stationed in. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Not another loading bug. All I'm saying is, this is not the safest workplace. <laughs> I hope they are compensated well. <laughs> it's true, there's railings, that's true. Okay. <laughs> oh, this the Amazon offices? Yeah. True. Okay, now we're at the boss. This boss seemed mostly fine. It's just hard to avoid some of his moves. Some of them, it's like, I just can't seem to dodge it. I gotta wait for him to start spinning. That way he can commit to an attack angle. He make a Windows noise? I think there's been a few Windows noises. Not even just Windows, I think there's been some uh, AOL Instant Messenger sounds. But that wasn't uncommon. For PC games in particular. Or hell, fucking uh, uh, Drake of the 99 Dragons uses an AOL Instant Messenger sound if memory serves. Oh, it's this one. It's this one down here. I can't seem to pull this one. Yeah, as was the style at the time. Yeah, this one does not want me to interact with it. I mean, I've only got two buttons, and it's not the jump button for that. So it must be the hammer button. But I don't seem to be able to... <laughs> I don't seem to be able to pull this one. We had the same thing happen last time with this bottom one. Yeah, sometimes I think this boss fight kind of breaks. Yeah, yeah. All right, we might have to. We might actually have to die for this, yeah. Maybe don't. Maybe we don't have to. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, it just doesn't. It just kind of doesn't let us. It seems like if you take damage while you're pulling it out, you take damage while you're pulling the plug out. They're just like, yeah, no, you don't. You had your one shot at it. All right, well, let's load. Let's load from where we were. We loaded, this is where we saved. So we should keep our progress from before. No, I don't think that's the same save because that one's down to zero lives. That must have been the first run we did. <laughs> he was too afraid to touch it again. All right, tell you what. Let's save it in all the slots next time. We'll save it in every single slot, just in case we forgot to last time. We're gonna quadruple save this shit every stage. So we have to be extremely careful during that second boss fight. Because the stage itself... The stage itself and the boss fight 
our tremendous, like, tech support hazards. <laughs> But that's okay. Everything up to that point is pretty simple. This stage is pretty simple. And I think we died here last time, so we might be able to preserve that life this time. I've taken damage. I'm not quite sure from what. But that's okay. stage at 275 gem emeralds on it, so for sure we can get two extra lives here. Gotta be extra careful whenever there's a change in elevation. <laughs> yeah, exactly for that reason. Whenever there's a change in elevation, you have to be so careful because it might eat your jump input. <laughs> you gotta deliberately, like, do a neutral jump and then move. Whenever <laughs> whenever you're uh, going downhill, you gotta be so careful. So what we'll do is we'll get through this stage as best we can. We're gonna save it in all the slots. And that way if the game refuses to work, we'll just load it and then we'll con we'll continue our like one CC attempt from there. I don't feel like that's cheating, trying to make sure that the game functions properly. That one's kind of out of our hands, I feel. All right. <laughs> the only other time that that's happened in history is when we were playing The Tick. Both versions of The Tick. It's not just getting a 1cc. <laughs> you gotta make sure the game works. Whoa! We got a little too close. Thankfully, this first stage is pretty short. It is with a heavy heart, chat room, that I must admit there is one other version of the tick. It is a bootleg that recolors him red and calls it the Incredibles. It's a technicality, for sure, but there is in fact one more version of the tick. <laughs> All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is April 1st is coming up. You know, just, I'm just threatening you. Just threatening you that it might happen. <laughs> Have the first game go to a disc read error. Dude, how sick of a stream would that be? It's like webcam, you're sitting down in front of your CRT. You put on a PS2 game, it just doesn't work. And you're like, ah, shit, hold on, chat room. Then the PS2 just fucking disc read errors. And you're like breathing on the CD. You're like rubbing it with your shirt. Just hold on, it's gonna work. Hold on, it's gonna work, I promise. No, 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 don't leave. Wait a minute, wait. <laughs> and then it's just like four hours of that. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, trying to get your res disc to work in 14. I would be so entertained if somebody did that stream. I, I used to get those on my old PS2. I got those, like, disc read errors. <clears throat> the conclusion I reached, it, it wasn't the disc's fault. It was, like, the... whatever read the disc. That thing started moving. I was like, oh, I gotta go back. It started moving. And then we just ate shit. The tick! Alright, let's go back. Dread it. Run from it. The tick arrives all the same. <laughs> it is inevitable. And then, if we 1cc that, then we absolutely have nothing else to 1cc as far as the tick is concerned. We even will have done the bootleg version of it. Then we'd be free forever. There'd be nothing else. So yeah, the curse would be broken. First person ever in history to beat both versions of the Tick and the Incredibles bootleg on one credit. But at what cost? Waiting for the critters are under attack. I actually had an idea for that that I never uh, followed up on. So, the henchmen from in Impossible Creatures, I just want to get all their sound clips. Like, all of them, and then put them in one sound redeem, so it just does one randomly when you redeem it. There's just, like, a randomized goon button. That's what I want to do. I haven't done it yet. You <laughs> don't call it the goon button. Listen, I'm gonna reclaim the word gooning. I know what I know what goes into your brain when you hear the term. I'm reclaiming it for 1930s era gangster henchmen. I'm taking it back, baby. See, you get it. You get it, King Nocturne. <laughs> you got it, boss. Yeah, it's the act of being a goon. Surely that's what it is. I can't think of any other definitions of that word. It must be the only one. I give off goon vibes. Honestly, it's kind of what I'm going for. Every time I'm on somebody else's stream, that's what I gotta do. Whenever I barge into, like, Gary's stream or Lee's stream, I just gotta start... I just gotta be the you got it, boss guy. <laughs> That's what I should do. It just applied for a crime syndicate? Let's fucking go, dude. Your secret is safe with me, and however many hundred people are here. Don't worry, the, the authorities will never know. Whoa! Oh no, that didn't sync up quite right. Okay, I'm gonna wait. You do know 400 of your closest friends. <laughs> the authorities said it's cool as long as you wear this wire. Oh, no harm done then. I'm sure it's just a decorative wire that doesn't do anything. That's probably fine. I wouldn't worry about it too much.
I love that the guy has a gun. The guy on the left. He has a gun, he's just firing into the air. He's not shooting at Mangchi. He just does not... <laughs> no interest in shooting our hero. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Joseph Francis, thank you for the follow. Not just the one France, but multiple Francis. I've got horrible news, unfortunately. I will never forgive the French. They know what they did. Is a Dreamcast game. It does look a bit like one. I don't disagree. Say chocolatine to piss off the threat. What app? I don't know the chocolatine lore. What is that? I probably didn't say that quite correctly. People that have surgery for sleep apnea lose their ability to speak French. I thought that if you went to sleep with, like, a Learn French CD playing in your ear and then it skipped, you could wake up and all you can say is omelette du fromage. I remember that quite vividly. one, I believe. Noise. My hands are starting to adapt to the backwards, like, left hand, right hand. Having to move with my right hand feels so alien to me. Yeah, Jazz Jackrabbit too. I, I'm never, I've never been good with like the arrow keys to move. I desperately need WASD or my brain just like can't. I'm doing the best I can though because they're not remappable. Cross your arms. You want me to Seth Killian that shit? You want an answer? I was a big fan of the fact that in Dive Kick, if you play as, as uh, you play as Seth Killian, he crosses his arms like that. I was a big fan. We only got 68 left over. Last time we had 69 left over. That's not nearly as nice. Still enough for an S rank, though. Okay, let's save this in all four slots this time. Yeah, save. Yeah, save it. Yeah, There's every, all of them. Yeah, uh, yeah. That time it'll definitely remember our progress. You got second in a local dive kick tournament. Who do you mean? Are you, uh... 
Are you... Are you a Mr. N main? Or are you normal? <laughs> Who's good in Dive Kick? I have no idea. I played it for a little while when it came out. I never went back to it, but I never had any problem with the game. I always thought it was a fun time. I played Kick, I believe. You mean Die? I think I mean Kick. I liked that he had a move called the Party Starter. <laughs> yeah, all the characters play differently. They've all got their own special moves. Some of them have unique mechanics. We gotta catch the next one. This one. Well, okay. Nidhog, dude. They put in the Nidhog, dude. This is news to me. I had no idea. I guess you do get a dive kick in that game, though, so that's fair enough. Been listening to this for a bit. Lack of a better description sounds similar to other games from the region. Jump sound, gem pickup sound. Any idea why? Oh, I have no idea. I mean, it is true that a lot of games from this region had, like, borrowed sound effects. I mean, I say borrowed. Some of them are quite, uh, quite uh, obviously stolen from places. I mean, I don't know. Seems to happen a lot, depending on where in the world the game is from. Chinese games are particularly guilty of this, or at least they were at the time. Well, okay, we landed on something. We got the Gemerald that opens the door. That's good enough. Let's get out of here. RPG Maker games, yeah. No, it hasn't crashed again since we took it out of compatibility mode. Which, that sentence makes no fucking sense, but... It's been working out. Yeah, we had it in compatibility mode for Windows XP. Maybe that's what was causing the crashes. <laughs> I put it in compatibility mode to try and prevent the crashes. Little did I know. <laughs> Here's what I can tell you. Here's what I can tell you, chat room. I am a fan of the video games for every console, every handheld. And a lot of old computers that I never even had one of or am familiar with. So whenever we do play these kind of old PC games and they have like technical problems, my stupid ass literally does not know how to fix it 99% of the time. What I do is I just kind of start hitting buttons at random and then sometimes it fixes it. <laughs> MFA, don't tell me you forgot that we made the term goons modern. Who? Ha, huh, something awful, thank you for the dollary do. I mean, you said forgot as if I knew or remembered in the first play. What is something awful? I don't even know what that is. Thank you for the dollary do. You've placed a lot of faith in me to get a reference just now. 
I'm sorry that I can I cannot reciprocate. I cannot reciprocate. <laughs> really old website forum site. Ah, I see. I see. I see. No, sorry, I've got no fucking clue. What attempt number is this? Oh, I have no idea. If we were just trying to, like, 1cc the game. We died on the first stage several times, and then I ran it back. This is our second, like, attempt that had gone this far. Mostly because I want to just try and get to the boss and actually have the boss fight work properly, because it seems easy to make that not happen. How many games have I had to give up on this show because I couldn't get them working? None so far. I've put games on the back burner because I just needed to troubleshoot them and I didn't really know who to ask. The most notable case of that was Interstate 76 and Interstate 82. I had wanted to play the Interstate games for months before I had actually streamed them. Interstate 76, I was lucky enough to figure out on my own. And then, even then, during the stream, there was a near-fatal bug that somebody in the chat offered a fix and then that worked. Interstate 82, on the other hand, I found to be so broken, I had no idea how to fix it, how to stream it, how to do anything, until two people came to my aid one of them is here right now, I assume, the Ultimo. And the other one is Duke Donuts, one of my favorite streamers on this website. <laughs> they basically just gave me a VM, they're like, yeah, just run this. And then it worked, and I'm like, ah, oh, bless. <laughs> Vigilante 8. Yeah, Vigilante 8. That was... That was a weird one. I was enjoying that stream, and then... I don't remember if, like, my power went out, or my internet went out, or something. Something just tragically died during the middle of that, and we didn't get to play anymore. Maybe we'll get back to it. Yeah, console emulation is comparatively simple. Old computer emulation? Oh, dude. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Are you kidding me? VMs and shit? Oh, dude, there's no chance. I played a lot of games last year that were for old computers. A lot of them I had to use a VM for. And I thought, I hoped, throughout that process that I would kind of get better at troubleshooting those. Uh, I really haven't. I've learned nothing. <laughs> the conclusion I did reach is that every game requires wildly different forms of tinkering to make work. There is no universal do this and it goes solution every game must be tinkered with individually i would say that the saving grace of that concept is that a lot of these games get re-released on like steam or on gog and sometimes when those games get re-released on steam or on gog sometimes they do work properly that was not the case with Interstate 76. It was not the case with Interstate 82. It was certainly not the case with Redline. No relation. But, uh... <laughs> Most of the time it works. Most of the time. I suppose I should be thankful that this one seems to be working now. Because this stream almost came to a screeching halt about an hour in. When I say tinker, what do I mean? Just fucking around with settings, compatibility mode, making sure I got the right DirectX version. C 
seeing if the PC gaming wiki has anything. Looking up some dank-ass forums, see if anybody else on the planet Earth had played the game with my problem. That sort of thing. Sometimes that process is fruitful, and we get to stream the video game. Other times, not so much. <laughs> Sometimes I can get a game working correctly, like we did with Subculture. Sometimes we'll get the game working correctly, but then there's a game-breaking bug like 90% of the way through. And I had not played the game in advance that far to make sure. And I will admit that's on me. We're almost out of the hell room. Modern PCs not having disk drives. That's its own separate problem. Because there's plenty of old computer games that require the presence of a disk in the drive. If not to play, like, music and cutscenes, then just to make the game function at all. This is not one of those games. There is no disk in the drive. But a lot of games do work like that. Alright. Let's see if this boss works. Mist? Yeah, I remember Mist. I never was good at Mist. It requires a level of brain power that I didn't seem to have. Brain... Uh, too small for Mist. As far as, like, proper 1cc attempts, this is probably the second real one, I would say. Because this is the second time we've gotten to this boss fight, kind of hoping that it functions correctly. That time we got out of phase one, no problem. Riven. Didn't they literally call it, like, Riven, colon, the sequel to Mist? Instead of calling it Mist 2. What kind of hammer does Manchi use? A mallet? A sledge? A ball peen? <laughs> I think he's got a big wooden mallet. If Have you ever watched Courage the Cowardly Dog? You know when Eustace says I'm getting me mallet? That's very much what we're working with in this game. What way are you turning? Okay. Ooh. Grab this. Oh, he's got one more. Whoa, we went the other way. I got baited. Cool. Not too bad at all. We got that life right back. We got that extra life right back, baby. What is this image? Let me see. We did lose a life there, but we immediately got it back. We got or right, hold on. Hold on, this game tracks my inputs even when it's tabbed out. I gotta be very careful. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, pumpkin harp. Uh, pumpkin harp, thank you for the follow. Yeah, that's sick! <laughs> is this, did you, is this like Xenoverse Mangachi the Hammer Boy? <laughs> is that what this is? Is this the fucking Xenoverse Goku? <laughs> that's incredibly strong. Incredibly powerful Hammer Boy. <laughs> Thank you, DT. That was a meta sequel named The Mist Books are written worlds and contain the previous book in them. Ah, uh, I see. I admit, I am very ignorant to Mist things. 
I've never beaten the first one. I've certainly played it, never beat it. Into the airship. I seem to recall this stage not being that... that bad. Don't get hit by the fucking sumo hands of doom, though, obviously. No, I don't think we streamed Mist. No, no, no. We've played a few point-and-clicks. We've done some point-and-click games. We played Night Long. That was a favorite of mine. We did, like, Cyberpunk Adventure Week, where we played some, like, cyberpunk point-and-clicks. We played uh, Beneath a Steel Sky. That game fucking whipped. There's a sequel now, and I haven't played that one yet. We gotta get around to that, don't we? Yeah, I was a big fan of Cyberpunk Adventure Week. We should do some more point and clicks, though. I agree. There's one on the Amiga that I really want to play. It was called... Oh, shit. What was it called? It was just like Time War, Time Traveler, or something like that. Can I fall off the side? Probably. I won't be, uh... I won't be doing that scientific experiment. Maybe it's better that we don't find out. It's the one where you start on, like, a window. You're like a window cleaner guy. Whatever the fuck that one is called. That one looks great. Do not remember the title. That's not herbs. No, no, it's not. Yeah, the Delphine one. You know the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the point that's the point and click I at this exact moment want to play most, I would say. Future Wars, thank you. The name was escaping me. This discussion's gone some weird places, but I guess that's what happens when you're trying to 1cc Mangchi the Hammer Boy. <laughs> Whoa, the delayed active frames! Oh no, I don't mind, Kieran. I can share an experience with not being able to play a game the way I wanted to. I modded my SNES Classic so I could add other games, mm. including a dank one I loved as a kid, Secret of Evermore. Oh, I thought you were going to say Bebe's Kids. <laughs> Thank you, Philly, for the dollar do. When are we getting the Bebe's Kids 1cc, y'all? When's that happening? <laughs> Welcome to Dino threatens his chat room with another dank 1cc. <laughs> well, I forgot that happens there. Okay, so this boss was just whichever color lights up, those are the bombs you hit. What if Arika made a point and click? It would have really good music, it would have really stiff animation, and it would have absurd moon logic puzzles that make no sense, I feel. <laughs> Inexplicably, Skullomania would be there. He wouldn't have any reason to be, he would just be there. Skullomania is the murder victim. We're up to seven lives. We've got a pretty large cushion for error at the moment. But then the later stages are extremely fucked, so we're probably going to need them. All right. 
What's my asking price for taking the time to look at Pepe's kids? I'll do it for free. Don't worry. You don't gotta convince me to check out a game. <laughs> Dodge the falling bombs. Dodge the gun. At least he telegraphs the gun ages in advance. There we go, got him. Oh, gems! Delicious gems! We're almost up to eight lives. It's going very well. Oh, that's right, this was how the stage ends. I forgot. I love a good gem old, yeah. Alright, we're up to eight lives. Lots of room for error. Jins! Jins, thank you for the 3,898 whole years. This boat's got no sh movement whatsoever. It adheres to the strict D-pad movement of your arrow keys. There is no acceleration. It just goes whatever direction you hit on a dime. That's how the stage ends. It just stops. The stage just stops, y'all. S rank. 449? No, 619. Font's hard to read. Today's been a good day. Been having a good time today. Today's been pretty good. I did get pretty confrontational at the start of the stream. I'll admit that. <laughs> but it's because I see quite a lot of the same kinds of comments. And a man has finite patience for them. But I'm having a good time. Having a good time. You're wonderful people, chat room. Most of the time. Yeah. I forgot he had a gun! What? This stage is gonna be a problem, y'all. This is what we stockpiled them lives for. How do I do this bit? Because they expect me to go pretty fucking quick across all these. Unless I can skip ahead by jumping onto that one. Maybe that's what they expect me to do. Oh, here we go. We got the right cycle. This guy has a gun, though. We need to approach him from behind. Uh-oh. He turned a little faster than I thought he would. Give me those. Thank you. Uh -huh. We're eating shit at a rapid pace. Now we're gonna go back. I'll wait. Get John Stock CD. The soundtrack for this game, generally, in most of the stages, it's quite pleasant. Cool. Ah, uh, yes, this bit where we're not allowed to touch the ground because we just die for some unexplained reason.
What's the plot of this mallet lad? Girl is danger. Rescue girl. There is no dialogue in this game. There's no text explanation of what is happening. In the intro cutscene, a girl is in trouble. Magnachi the Hammer Boy alone must go and rescue her. That is all we know. Look at him go. What an athlete. Whoop. Whoop. And post-apocalyptic flooding also as well. I think. I'll wait. Here we go. Full send. Whoop. Think we're at the end of this bit. Not quite. We're almost back up to seven lives. Thank God. Cool. Don't touch the ground, though. You'll disintegrate, Mangji. His arm strength is crazy good. Well, I mean, I guess it has to be if you got a bonk hammer like this. Yeah, there is a movie. I mean, the movie and the game are both based on the same manga. I've not read this manga, nor have I seen the movie beyond just skimming it real quick. But they're they're both based on a manga. Maybe you could read it? Question <laughs> mark. Active frames. How do I approach? There we go. I was like, how do I do this? How do I stand anywhere? Uh-oh! The ground's very hard, you see. It's Korean, uh, to be clear. If there's a if there's a different word for it, then it's whatever that is. Pardon my pardon my ignorance. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I am a fucking idiot who don't know things, right? I give quite a lot of people somehow the impression that I know things. I'm here to tell you. I don't know shit, Captain. And I will never pretend to. Whoa, I forgot about this thing. Back up to 91, and I think we're at the boss. Okay. Do I know how to read? No, never. No, no, no. Don't be ridiculous. Why do you think we're playing a game with no words in it? <laughs> Frog race has been redeemed. Let's get out of this boss fight first.
Oh, that's not a great trade for me. Cool. How can I read chat? There's a really tiny man uh, saying everything that you're typing into my ear. There's a real little guy who's just feeding me everything. Did I do that correctly? I don't think I did. How to get you down. Okay, there we go. I was <laughs> just like, how do I do this again? There we go. Alright, we got that life back. We're up to five lives, 75 gems. We got a good shot at this, I would say. S rank. We got a good shot at this one, CC. Yeah, let's look at the cutscene so that we can understand what's happening. Bang Chi, the hammer boy, finds a portal! Where does the portal lead? It led far from Baldur's Gate. Far from the Sunset Mountains, far from the Marsh of Jalimber, and far from safety. But that is a tale for another time, because we have a frog race to do! Hit the frog button! Dave TTS! Me with my money. Hello, it's me Dave, John's brother and Dino's reading iBit. Mm. There's one person in the chat right now, I guarantee it. There's one person in the chat who just thought to themselves, Man, I haven't played Dark Alliance in a while. <laughs> yeah, Kralk. Is Lucky Clover one of the new ones? Who's new? Hold on, let me look at the list. I don't know if there's any new ones that we've seen today. No, I don't think we have one of the new ones yet in the rotation today. Lucky Clover is a new one, though. Just not from last week's additions. <laughs> You're gonna bet and then run? <laughs> You're gonna bet on four, I gotta dip, hope I win. That new yen's never coming back, y'all. <laughs> He's never seeing that new yen again. <laughs> All right, thirty percent to this bet is on Kralk, Lord Kralk's defer. Best of luck, everyone. Frog number four does have the lead. Wait a minute, maybe his new yen is safe after all. Frog number one has a big lead. He's at the line, but stops early. Kralk wins the race. Etroit was almost there. He just gave out. He just didn't have it anymore. His little legs just couldn't take him any further, so we gotta pay it out to Kralk instead. Pay it out to frog number three. 364,000 new yen given to a dozen of you. Congratulations to the lucky 12 winners of this frog race. Probably the final frog race of the day. My condolences to everyone else. You'll win the next one. I'm sure of it. All right. Final stage. One CC still, uh, still possible. I meant, to, Dino, I meant to bet on three. Can I please have money? If I had a way to smuggle you some new yen, like, under the table, if that were possible, yeah, I'd probably do it for the hijinks. But I don't think I have that power. <laughs> Bet rigging in my Dino stream! 
when have we ever rigged a frog race on this show? Smash cut to literally yesterday's stream. Or, uh, the previous stream, rather. I don't feel safe on this platform, because there's, like, cannon fire. Just like a cannon shooting at us. Yo, what's up, Greffery? You're at the end of this stream, I fear. We're on the final stage of a 1cc attempt of Mangchi the Hammer Boy. We have six lives left. We are still on our first credit. Now, to be fair, this game is for children. So I certainly hope we can get a 1cc. But it'll feel good regardless. <laughs> Did we ever find out who redeemed it early? I have no idea. To be honest, I'm not grilling my own moderators about it. As long as it, like, doesn't happen, right? <laughs> as long as it never happens on purpose, I don't care. Somebody clicks the wrong button on accident, I get it. I hit the wrong buttons all the time. Uh-oh. That platform bailed on us early. Thank you. Okay. Oh, hell no. What is this horrible situation we're in? There we go, that's what I want. <laughs> that was a rough spot to wait for a platform. Ooh. Can there be, like, less cannon fire threatening my life? That would be outstanding. I gotta hit them again, it only comes by once. Okay. That means I gotta wait for this guy to go by, pretty much. Wait until he's on his way back. So that I can catch my cycle. There we go. Yo, have a good one, shoe lips. <laughs> have a time, don't you worry, I'm on it. Let's try and get ourselves this one CC, shall we? I'm a little worried about the final boss, because I can't dodge his bombs very well. But it seems like there's plenty of opportunities to get more gems along the way. Alright, fair enough. It's kind of hard to tell where those lasers are, right? You're running at them, there's no, like, shadow or anything to really tell. <laughs> so you just kind of land on them sometimes. Oh no. Alright. The second bit's very easy, you just hit the damn pillars. This part's super simple. And then we got the whole slidey bit, and then we gotta climb up the ruins. We should get plenty of gems back along the way. He tweened down. Yeah, totally. Oh god, his goofy ass. Not the barrels! We have no better plan for dealing with the Hammer Boy! Throw barrels! Random bullshit, go! Oh, 
Uh oh. Okay. Love a good random bullshit go enemy. Yahoo! <laughs> Front side 1080. Cool. Yeah, the infinite barrel pile. How can he counter this? <laughs> I think as long as we stay in the middle, we're fine. <clears throat> Nothing really threatens our lives on this bit. I do like that the... I do like that your platform breaks away when it hits these obstructions, but... <laughs> for the most part, it's very easy to do. Yeah, insane sequence of death traps. Now we're in the ruins bit, where we might miss a jump or two. And then I think that takes us right to the boss? I think this is the last bit before the boss. Hopefully these guys don't have any guns. Uh-oh. I gotta wait until he's further out of range. If we're too close to his yellow circle, we cannot attack him. We have to hit him from outside his yellow circle range. No explanation for this phenomenon is given. Yeah, we got the egg. We'd be hitting him with the handle? True. I can't disagree. That might be what they're going for. Then we gotta climb, like, two more of these towers. We might get one more extra life on the way. Whoa! Yeah. Weird camera rotation, but okay. Thank you, Cheese Whiz. The only problem with the final boss is that we just really can't seem to dodge his, like, uh, bombs that he shoots. There's kind of a tell that he's doing it, but you can't exactly tell what direction it's coming from. You can't tell when exactly he fired it, so you don't know if turning 180 will save you or not. Uh-oh. I was not supposed to go forward there. Or I was not supposed to go backward there. Okay. We do have full health on this life, though. And no retreat, John Hammer Boy. We press on always. That takes us up to the boss, unless I'm misremembering. Don't remember how much else there was to this stage. Oh, that's right, we do got this bit first. This bit had a couple fucked jumps, but we should get one more life on the way because there's like enemies around to hit. They all drop a 10. They drop like a 10 gem. Some of these jumps are kind of fucked, though, because it's not in a cardinal direction. It's, like, in a weird slant. I 
Like this one in particular, we have to, we can't just jump right here. We have to jump right and very slightly up. You thought I was playing War of the Whiskers? Ah, shit. Yeah, see what I mean? We gotta go up a bit when we do that. We gotta go even more up. It's the most slippery platform in the game, this one. Ah, oh, that time we went too much. Yeah, the old 245 jump, it's very awkward. Yeah, you can't do it too much, you can't do it not enough. It's gotta be just right. If you go straight right here, you die. Yeah, look at this jump. This is the most fucked up jump in the game. There's a lot of ice on this platform. Yeah, keyboard controls. There is no, like, analog control in this. It's purely keyboard. Oh, shit, we slipped off the right side that time. All right, I don't think we're getting this one, CC. Is the platform of doom this one. There's no way around it. Gamepad's even a thing in Korea, I'm pretty sure. There we go. That took a while. Got there eventually. Even the dismount's kind of ugly, because that's also a weird diagonal jump. <laughs> Korean backdashes on a PS2 driving wheel. Yeah, get hit by no bombs. Well, zero counts as a life. We effectively have six hit points. <clears throat> we gotta keep the bombs we get hit by to a minimum, though. That's a very tall order. Yeah, weird wobbly man. I didn't expect that platform to be that fucked. We actually did much better with that platform the first time around. Okay. We'll see if we can deal the first point of damage without incident. He's got four hit points. We've got six total. Cool. Then we have to dodge his bombs. He puts the, uh, he puts the hearts back, but then he drops a few bombs. And we can't really tell where they are because there's no shadows on the ground. There we go. And then he teleports you back for another loop. <laughs> Santa, why? <laughs> sometimes you platform, sometimes you get platformed. That's definitely the case here, yeah. Right. Teleport me back to the diagonal jump. That'd be the worst. We'd have no shot. What's the whistling? I think that's you, the player's tell that he has just dropped a bomb. That's like your tell to avoid it. Then I think it's the potatoes of doom. Uh, dodge the potatoes, yeah. Oh, well, that one got us. He's got two hit points, we've got three. Basically, we're just not allowed to stand still for too long. Yeah, he's dropping hot potatoes. We have to avoid his butt slam, but be close enough and not too far away so that we can land a hit. There we go. 
Now we have to dodge his bombs for the rest of this. It's just one hit left. I think we gotta dodge more taters. Oh no, it's the balloon bombs this time. I think we're safe up here. All right, all we gotta do is get up close to him one more time. We're on our last three hearts. He's on his last one hit. Yeah, we gotta concuss him. I think we're good. All we gotta do is bop him one more time. Let's go! One CC for Mong Chi the Hammer Boy. I'll take it. Now, I didn't mean for it to be that close, but those platforms at the end are pretty slippery. Thank you. Yeah, that one platform is like... That one platform is pure hell. If we, if it was if you could just do a straight right jump, if you could do a straight right jump to reach it, it wouldn't be too bad. But you have to do like right and very slightly up, not too far up because you slip off the other side. But we did it. I'm happy with that. You know. That ended up about the length of what I'd call a normal stream anyway. Usually when I put short stream in the title, usually I'm aiming for like three hours. We got a bit closer to four there. I do have pressing engagements very soon though, so we gotta, I, we gotta get up out of here after these credits roll. Lest I be late for obligations. Well done, <laughs> Bring a hammer to the engagements. I will. Maybe I will. Yeah, he's got very large hair. A poem's been redeemed. Unfortunately, just this once, I do not have time for that. I will have to refund your points. <laughs> just this once, I don't have time for that. Don't worry, I'll give you a poem for free at the start of the next stream. There we go. We've done it. One CC of a Korean children's PC game. Thank you, thank you. Got our beloved One CC. I will take it. Who made the game? Who are these thank people? You. The developers, ostensibly. Cool game. Big fan. It is a licensed game that came out some years after the source material thank did. You. This was meant to come out in like 2002, came out a couple years later for reasons. Maybe it's just to line it up with the movie. <laughs> the movie's release date, no fucking clue. Alright, there we go. Yeah, whoms did this? We'll just never know. We gotta get up out of here for today, y'all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you. You're all wonderful people. Don't let anyone tell you different, chat room. Not even me, when I'm in a sour Thank mood. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, where are we going? We gotta go somewhere. I gotta drop you fellas Thank off. You. Let me see. Retro Pals Thank are you. on. They're playing Phoenix Games. PS2 budget games. That is definitely where you guys are going. Throw Thank scoots. You. Throw scoots at the Retro Pals. If you don't have Dino Scoot, throw rack attacks at the Retro Pals. I will see you on Wednesday with something else. Something different. I'm not sure what. Thank you all for watching.
Until next time, bye bye